as paninis rolled off the press. 21 hours a day, 11 million packets a day, each containing five stickers. The headliners, Mbappe, Messi, Modric, and the coming stars. Players with four names, and there's Fred. The phenomenon started here, next to the cathedral, at a newspaper kiosk in the center of town. After World War II, Olga Panini, a widow, ran the newsstand with her four sons. Not unlike a soccer team, each had a special skill. The oldest son, Giuseppe, was the dreamer with the big plans. Salute! Cheers. We met Giuseppe's son, Antonio, and Giuseppe's nieces, Laura and Lucia Panini, in Modena. He was uh, like a volcano. He had many, many ideas. A volcano? A volcano, yes. Giuseppe's initial idea was to sell cards depicting flowers. And was a disaster. <laughs> but they realized that the formula was OK, not the subject. Short of Lira, Giuseppe had, as it were, one last shot on goal. It was 1961, and he turned to a new subject, Italian soccer. It was a hit, especially with the kids. Even if production was rudimentary. All the stickers were printed and then were cut, and they were mixing with a shovel at the beginning. To make sure there were no duplicates, yes. they, mix, they mixed with a then shovel. They replaced the shovel with a churn, the one they use normally for making butter or The cheese. butter churn. Yes, yes. <laughs> and they had a handle, and they were moving this handle, and was working. Giuseppe's brother Umberto, the family engineer, invented machinery that mixed stickers to prevent dreaded duplicates in each pack. His contraptions were so successful, the designs are still in use today, 60 years later. 